Andrew Hill is a professor of anthropology and a curator, director of vertebrate paleontology at Yale University. But in the 1970s, he was just a paleoanthropology college intern working on Mary Leakey's team in northern Tanzania. The Laetoli site had been known to Lewis and Mary Leakey for quite some time. They had found tantalizing evidence of hominid fossils from Australopithecus afarensis, prompting Mary to begin serious excavations in 1974. Elephant dung toss leads to magnificent discovery. As PBS describes it, Hill and some fellow interns were joking and playing around. Paleoanthropologist Andrew Hill and a colleague were tossing elephant dung at each other at Liatoli. Continuing, as Hill dived out of the way, he stumbled on what turned out to be one of the wonders of prehistoric finds, a trail of hominid footprints about 3.6 million years old. It was the end of the fossil hunting season. They had to postpone examining the footprints. Two years later, they returned to the site. Professor Paul Abel of the University of Rhode Island, a member of the Leakey team, discovered a total of 81 footprints. The footprints were estimated to have been made 3.6 million years ago, very likely by a pair of Australopithecus afarensis lucy. The footprints at Liatoli had been swiftly buried by volcanic ash, preserving them for millions of years. But two years before the footprints were found, the Leakey team had made another miraculous find that had gone largely unnoticed. In 1976, Philip Leakey and his friend Peter Jones had been mulling around at Liatoli and fell upon five footprints that appeared to be from ancient hominids. Upon examination, Mary Leakey declared them to be hominid footprints. They were dated to 3.6 million years old, but the scientific community had its doubts. Other paleoanthropologists came forward to suggest they were made by bears. The other, larger set of Laetoli footprints garnered a great deal of attention. The five footprints, presumed to be from genus Ursus, were soon largely forgotten. Discovery of Kenyanthropus Mivliki was married to Lewis and Mary's son Richard. Richard had been recovering from a horrible single-engine plane crash. He was also beginning his career in Kenyan politics. Meave largely took over field work at Lake Turkana. Smithsonian, in 1998-99, Lake Turkana, Kenya, a research team led by scientist Meave Leakey found a cranium and other fossil remains of a 3.5 million year old early human that has a mixture of features unseen in other early human fossils. The skull was crushed on one side, making immediate analysis difficult and creating controversies regarding the species placement on phylogenetic charts. Continuing, Smithsonian. Noting the unusual combination of traits, Leakey and her team named a new genus and species Kenyanthropus platyops, or flat-faced human from Kenya. Even though the specimen is in horrible condition, the maxilla region on the one side is fully intact. The preserved maxilla allow the scientists to make a determination that Kenyanthropus was a separate species. Two leading figures in paleoanthropology, Fred Spohr and Tim White, engaged in a heated debate over taxonomic classification. White contended that Kenyanthropus was simply a variant of Australopithecus afarensis. 
At one paleoanthropology conference held in London in 2009, according to witnesses, the two shouted at each other for over an hour. Of course, there is a long-standing and quite spirited rivalry between the Leakey clan and Tim White slash Don Johansson, largely over Homo habilis and Australopithecus afarensis. Kenyanthropus traits. Professor Spohr was appointed by Meve Leakey to do the morphometrics. It was Spohr who initially designated the new species. ASU professor William Kimball expressed his approval of Spohr's analysis. Quite ironically, Kimball was a close friend and colleague of Johansson and White. Paleoanthropology YouTuber Halabella. Kenyanthropus platyopes was significantly different from other hominid species, mainly in its flat face, forward facing cheekbones, and small molars. Paper 2004, New Hominid Genus from Eastern Africa shows diverse middle Pliocene lineages. Here we report on new fossils discovered west of Lake Turkana, Kenya, which differ markedly from those of contemporary Australopithecus afarensis. Continuing, the cranium showing a unique combination of derived facial and primitive neurocranial features is assigned to a new genus of hominid. Placing Kenyanthropus on the human family tree. Louis Leakey had vociferously proclaimed Homo habilis the toolmaker at the base of the human family tree in the 1960s. Scientists have long believed that the phylogenetic line led directly from Lucy Australopithecus afarensis to Homo habilis. However, the discovery of Kenyanthropus in 1999 has prompted many in the field of paleoanthropology to reconsider this analysis. Smithsonian Kenyanthropus inhabited Africa at the same time as Lucy species Australopithecus afarensis and could represent a closer branch to modern humans than Lucy's on the evolutionary tree. Paleoanthropologists emphasize brain size, facial flatness, reduced brow ridges, and smaller molars in defining genus Homo. The Kenyanthropus specimen exhibits a range of facial morphological traits that fulfill all of the specified criteria. Fran Dory, AustraliaMuseum.com. The finders believe the skull shares similarities with a later species, Homo rudolfensis, including the relatively flat face and the lack of a depression behind the brow ridge, indicating it may be an ancestor of Homo. 3.6 million year old footprints confirmed as hominid, not a bear. Dartmouth University, Jeremy Jerry De Silva, is a paleoanthropologist specializing in the locomotion of the first apes and early human ancestors. His particular anatomical expertise, the human foot. De Silva frequently appears on paleoanthropology podcasts and regularly speaks at events. He is friends with Lee Berger and has served as an advisor on the Homo Naledi project. De Silva did some serious detective work. He traveled to Tanzania with a team of interns. They studied the old leaky coordinates and notes to find the exact location of the footprints. De Silva, we located, excavated, and cleaned the Site A trackway using 3D photogrammetry and laser scanning. We compared the footprints at this site with those of black bears, chimpanzees, and humans. We show that they resemble those of hominids more than ursids. Reuters 2021. Five fossil footprints left in volcanic ash 3.66 million years ago in Tanzania are giving scientists new insight on a landmark in human evolution. Upright walking. 
Researchers announced they were made not by a bear, as once believed, but by a hominid. Although at this time they cannot give a firm confirmation, team leaders hint that the footprints discovered by the two young boys in 1976 were likely made by Kenyanthropus plateos. Paper co-author Ohio University Professor Kelly McNutt, interviewed by subspecies.com 2021. It's unclear yet who is responsible for Laetoli A. There are several species sharing this moment in time with Australopithecus afarensis, including Kenyanthropus plateos. De Silva said scientists can only speculate about other aspects of this hominin's appearance and behavior and whether it was one already identified, such as Kenyanthropus plateops or a previously unknown one. If the footprints are indeed from Kenyanthropus, it could mean that the origins of the genus Homo stretch back to 3.6 million years ago. Indeed, at least one paleoanthropology professor has already released a revised phylogenetic chart with Kenyanthropus at the base. Professor James Cole is a PhD at the University of Brighton in the UK. He tweeted out his proposed chart in December 2021. Of particular note, though Chris Stringer did not officially endorse Kenyanthropus as the base of the genus Homo, he retweeted Cole's chart. As Professor Cole's chart suggests, Lucy and the Australopithecines would be relegated to a side branch. As Australian Museum Director of Exhibitions Fran Dory notes, if the analysis of Spore and the other Kenyanthropus researchers is correct, then it challenges the place of the Australopithecus as a direct human ancestor. The iconic Lucy, Australopithecus afarensis, might soon find herself nudged aside on the human family tree by the groundbreaking discovery of Kenyanthropus plateops. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and pass this video on to others. We'll see you soon.